Good morning, and welcome to the meeting of the Subcommittee on Zoning and Franchises. I'm Council Member Francisco Moya, the chairperson of this subcommittee. Today we are joined by Council Members uh, Levin, Richards, Rivera, Gradenchek, and also uh, Council Member Diaz. Uh, today we will vote on one application that was laid over at our last subcommittee meeting. We will vote to modify LUs 280 and 281, an application by Forum Ferry LLC for property at 25-29 J Street in Council Member Levin's district in Brooklyn. The application seeks to rezone the property from an M14 uh, R8A district to an M16 R8X district. There is there is also a zoning uh, text amendment to apply certain bulk regulations to R8X districts mapped within the MX2 special district. These actions would facilitate the development of a 12-story 10 FAR commercial office building. Our modification will ensure that the increase in height only applies to a predominantly commercial or manufacturing building. Uh, now I would like to turn it over to Council Member Levin for his remarks. Thank you very much, Chair Moya. I want to thank you. I want to thank Chair uh, Salamanca as well as Lindy's staff uh, for your forbearance on this um, application. I uh, greatly appreciate um, that extra time. Um, we used that time to um, ensure that there is language in place that would um, uh, that would ensure that this project go forward as a commercial development. Um, and if, because it's a, a, um, uh, an, a residential slash commercial application um, and being proposed as a commercial development, we want to make sure that there is language in place that if, uh, if a residential development were to be put forward, um, it would go under the, uh, the existing zoning of an R8A uh, and not as an R8X, which allows for additional um, uh, 25 feet in height. Um, uh, this was in response to uh, community concerns, um, and we worked with the community and the developer and his team uh, to ensure that, um, that that was in place. Um, this project does have uh, a significant benefit to bringing in commercial development, ground up commercial development in Dumbo, which would add um, new jobs and, uh, and a context that is um, in line with, uh, as a commercial development, the historic buildings in Dumbo, um, which uh, are uh, without setback um, and references um, the Gare buildings, among others, uh, which really establish the sense of place in Dumbo. This is in a landmark district, though not a non-contributing building, um, and, uh, and the uh, design of this building is, is, uh, was laid forward and approved by the Landmarks Commission um, to reference that historic character of Dumbo and that historic fabric. So um, uh, we think that that is appropriate um, as a commercial development. Uh, however, if it were to go forward as a residential development, it should go forward under its existing zoning. So I, I really appreciate uh, the extra time to, uh, to ensure that that is in place. Uh, and I want to thank uh, Department of City Planning for working with us to ensure that that language uh, works. So uh, with that, I, uh, I encourage an I vote on this project, and I want to thank uh, all my colleagues. Thank you. Thank you. I now call for a vote to modify LUs 280 and 281. Council, please call the roll. Moya. Aye. Lanceman. Aye. Levin. Aye. Rivera. Aye. Gradenchik. Aye. Richards. The land use items are approved with modifications by a vote of seven in the affirmative, no negatives and no abstentions, and referred to the full land use committee. So we're going to leave the um, rolls open for another 10 minutes. Uh, thank you uh, to my colleagues for uh, coming and, and voting. 